Hello again YouTube and I'm back with another uh, video. In this video here I'm dealing with battery venting issues and what you see before you right there is a carbon monoxide, a fire and a carbon monoxide detector and what you see next to it is a uh, exhaust fan. It is a Panasonic WhisperSync um, fan and it uh, displaces 80 cubic feet. That's 80 cubic feet of air per minute. Now, I recently ran into an issue where this carbon monoxide detector was going off and what it does is these batteries produce hydrogen and oxygen when they gas and they start gassing at about 80% full, uh, you know, anything above 80% and when it goes into float mode or, uh, or or when the charging cycle is almost done and it produces hydrogen and oxygen. Now with this fan, you know, you would think that you had plenty of ventilation, but that's not the case. Why? Because this particular carbon monoxide detector goes off. So this is what I have found out. And what I've found out is that these batteries or even lead acid batteries, uh, flooded lead acid batteries, give off, they give off hydrogen. Um, and oxygen and but lead acid batteries also give off sulfuric acid but these batteries here but in general they give off hydrogen and oxygen and these carbon monoxide detectors if uh, they're in an area where you know the parts per million um, of hydrogen is, is too high these uh, carbon monoxide detectors are so sensitive that they will actually you know start going off and many people have found out that they've you know they're they consider them nuisance alarms uh, but in fact these carbon carbon monoxide detectors are detecting the presence of hydrogen uh, in the air uh, enough to where you should be concerned so many of us believe you know that our venting systems are good even in battery boxes and so forth but it, to be sure, if you if you really uh, if you think your ventilation system is is good, then get your carbon monoxide detector and place it in an area near where you're charging your batteries, and that'll kind of tell the story, Bob. Because these things will they will go off and they will you know say they will either uh, enunciate that there's carbon carbon monoxide present or something like that. But again, these batteries do not. I say again, they do not give off carbon monoxide and but these things will detect it you can google it online so what I have done is I have essentially um, made a, a vent uh, I drill through uh, that's a, a vent with a six inch hole um, and I drill through concrete and stuff like that and you know this is this is my first time installing something like that if you were you know in construction it probably would have taken you no more than maybe an hour or two but it took me, you know, almost all day because I had to drill through uh, a red brick and, um, you know, put the vent in and so forth. And I'll show you that in a second. Again, this is so that I can have proper ventilation. So air will be coming in and air will be going out through the attic, through this particular exhaust vent. So I will have positive ventilation uh, in this room um, at all times. Now, if this machine, if this thing here continues to go off, then that means I may need to replace this fan, this exhaust fan with something a lot greater um, as far as, but this room here is about, it's, you know, if you look at it, it's not that big. It's about maybe 10 by eight. And if you get the cubic feet, so this thing here should displace the air with fresh air coming from outside. Um, actually, the air will be coming in from outside and between the brick and the plywood, or basically between the cooler air uh, in the walls. So this, so it basically fresh air uh, will be uh, constantly circulated and, and circulating in this room. So, and since I've done that, um, this thing is quiet. It's you know, it's quiet. I had to change out the batteries, but generally it's quiet. And it's right now, I'm actually float charging. Uh, my system here and you know uh, at 27.7 volts that's according, according to the trimetric but it's, the battery bank is actually 27.4 27.5 it's, it's fluctuating um, but anyway just want to talk to you about positive ventilation and I'm going to show you what it looks like on the outside hold on okay YouTube and this is what it looks like on the outside here 
Um, essentially, I put this uh, this vent that I got from uh, Home Depot. Uh, it's a dryer vent, but I took out the flap and I put some uh, wire mesh on the bottom to keep the critters out. And um, and I just essentially drilled a six inch hole um, through the brick wall. And I had to use a hammer drill, a rotary hammer drill, um, uh, in order to do this, or a hammer drill with a uh, six inch hole saw designed to cut through brick and concrete and wood and uh, it took me all day but and I put some caulking all around it and uh, you know it doesn't look the greatest but you know it works it, it works fine and it's gonna it's doing it's doing the job and so uh, you can actually see the hole on the other side there there's some paper I need to pull out I guess um, but essentially um, that's what it looks like it, it's it's working pretty well so I guess for now but if again if this thing you know goes off again then I'll just reevaluate uh, and maybe put in another fan this fan here this whisper sink fan um, goes 24 7 and it's very energy efficient it's a, an energy star uh, product again it's a Panasonic whisper sink I believe and it moves 80 cubic feet uh, per minute of, of, of air uh, you know out of this room and so that should be enough based on the dimensions of this particular room it's just a small utility room um, so it's it's and it runs 24 7 it doesn't really take a lot of power um, I don't know I think it's either 14 or 40 watts one of those I, I don't know I don't remember uh, but for an exhaust fan it, it's doing pretty good and it is very quiet very quiet so again I just this is think of this as a more like a public service message or anything if anything uh, that whether you have loaded, uh, flooded lead acid batteries or these nickel iron batteries um, you should have some type of proper ventilation if you think you do have it then not a problem just get one of these put it in the area and if it starts chirping during your battery charging cycle then you know that you don't have proper ventilation um, okay all right YouTube with that take care